The third world taskmaster is still not too sure. And flying suits, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow night. Who knows? There's a salvaging going on. Gonna be a little while pounding all this stuff out. There's quite a bit of some of it. There's alien terror medium destroyer coming back. I think we can ignore you. Not a lot of issue. October is just about finished up as well. Should be a generally pretty positive month, and then we can see about doing the alien base next month after I get maybe a little more stun up in order. I'd like to just uh, use the the blaster launcher stun bombs and just like, you know, fly those up in there. May as well, right? Flying suit's done. I was a little bit hoping I could get something that I could like use on the uh, alien psionically so I could see what their ranks were and like their stat sheets and all that. But I don't remember what that was called, if, if this game even had it. And if it did have it, I don't know if this mod's got it. Or if it didn't have it, I don't know if this mod's... You know what I mean. The flying suit, though. Uh, we got like a cool little laser tag chess piece. That's nice. The armor is a little bit less. It takes a little more damage from incendiary. 10% more. Not sure if that makes any difference at all. Stat-wise, 10, 10, 10, 55. Power suit. Time units, bravery, firing accuracy. Time units, stamina, brave. Okay. The flying suit gives you a little more firing accuracy. Not quite as much strength. Not quite as much bravery. And none of the stamina. Okay. It's just pretty, I mean, firing accuracy plus 10. Hey, yo, I'll take that. A versatile new protection for soldiers. This armor contains an Illyrium-powered anti-grav unit, allowing the soldier to levitate on the battlefield and move very quickly. Also has a nanocomputer based on alien design which steadies the soldier's hands and greatly improves accuracy. The natural choice for snipering... sniping type. Is this all unknown? Yeah, alright. So that's all unknown. Um, the rest of that is kind of whatever, I guess. So let's go Psy Amp then. I think. And then making the new armors we can possibly do. Up here instead. Yeah. Yeah, not too bad. 250,000 per. I'll pick up, uh, what's a good strike squad size? Five? I think five is, like, more than ideal. It'll be done in a few days. I should look and see if there's anything to... sell for a bit of money, like an inferno. <laughs> we could sell the package mammoth. 650,000. I'm okay with that. Dead decors and stuff don't sell for anything. All right, well, another 1.6 million bucks for selling the trophy corpses and uh, and the package mammoth. Yeah, all right, fine. I, I think that'll keep us afloat until the end of October when we get a cash injection for month end. There's also more corpses to rip to shreds. Okay, and now... I think salvaging is in order. Since I don't have any use for a lot of this stuff. The stun bombs turn into stun cores, and the stun cores I can turn into the fancier things. Yeah. Okay. So there's that as well. Busy end of the month for the manufacturing. <laughs> And then, um, money, I guess. Is there anything we lost? A we lost a armor at some point, I think. Right? We can do a repair. No. Okay. Oh, we would if we had alien power generators. Apparently, no send. 
some of those over, I guess? Uh, there's also alien reproduction, apparently. Hmm. <laughs> you don't have any, so... Should probably throw a little bit of... this basic stuff to you. So you've got a little bit on hand, so I don't have to do quite so much back and forth. Although some of that I think... Yeah, I'll throw the flying suit over too. I think some of that I threw over to this base for some facilities, but that's eh, whatever. All right, send that over to EU3. Oh, right. Um, craft weapons, just strike lawn. Sure's yeah, strike launchers. The cheapest, basicest, most easiest for the least amount of profit, but at least they're kind of quickly er done. So I don't have to worry too much about changing your manufacturing and losing what you were already working on. And then repair a power suit. One. Research going excellently on the Taskmaster as well. Maybe tonight. And now back on craft Wop, and I'll put you on the laser beam proper now, since you're probably going to be sitting doing that for a decent while. Sectoid Garrison at North Africa supply ship. Mm. Mm. Uh, I honestly like don't really feel like it. <laughs> I just. Have it, I guess. That's okay. I just don't feel like it. Eh. And there's the flying suits done. So we can send over those and then... <sighs> Blaster stun bombs. We can do quite a bunch. Let's go for... 10? I don't have anything for blaster launchers, though. I do have an alien blaster launcher. No, no, I don't. Okay, I see. I gotcha. I definitely don't have the stuff for that. Eight advanced plasma rifles. That's fine. Uh, it's just those like four hours. Hey, Taskmaster's done. Teaching us about the Ethereal Awesome Mental Powers, which allow for telepathic communication and telekinetic abilities. Apparently, weak physical abilities of this creature are sustained by its mental powers. Do not understand how these telekinetic powers work, since they seem to defy the laws of physics as we know them. They are extremely dangerous in any combat situation where they rely on their mental powers for combat. They rarely appear on Earth, Dirt Earth, because it's lowercase, since they seem to rely on other races to pursue their objectives. I feel like they could fly with uh, psionics. So that just, that just taught us that then, huh? Right. UFO, I've missed that. UFO plasma emitter. And also reproduction. I guess a couple things that we had sent over that we never did. And I think the heavy fusion missile is set up for the other place. Uh, okay. We'll go, um... I don't, probably plasma emitter. That might bring, like... Ship weapons. And there's the blaster stun bomb. So... Craft weapons. Laser beam medium. 7.6 million bucks. More. And chance for those. Flying. And... Blaster stun bombs. Do you, by chance, have... You should. We just got one on the... Terror mission. Blaster launcher. Make two more of those. Blaster stun bombs. Flying suits. Whoo! There's the month end. 12,000... 
592 monthly rating. <laughs> Jesus. I do I get like do I get goody points for just quote unquote downing a UFO with his tractor beam without actually doing it? Like the mission. I don't has anybody kept a like actual tally <laughs> this month? Because holy crap. I mean, I know I get some through like research and all that, but criminy, that would kind of infer like at least 11,000 points from just missions alone, which I don't think I've done that much. But uh, hey, performance bonus of 3.1 million, incomes increased by 2.3. They're very pleased. And uh, everybody else is generally happy. Nobody's left. And there's the Antarctica base outpost not even a base so, but i kind of knew about that it's a light destroyer muton retaliation team doing some retaliation just the one okay yeah there's a second one um yeah you get the medium pulse cannon so we can send that out that should be fine. Okay, yeah. Pulse cannon being actually kind of proper decent. No, don't do that mission, though. I'm just shooting down the retaliation craft out in... Out in the far east here. I think we're just like waiting on the flying suits to show up. Motherfucker, would you just wait on the flying suits to be shipped over and we can do the alien base? Awa. Okay, those actually like kinda hurt. Actually, a small fighting craft. <sighs> Uh, <laughs> uh, right. Fine. Inferno, go! Man, I'm sick of, like, the millions of UFOs. I'm tired of it. This fucking retaliation craft just all the time. Some people are really into it, but, like, I don't want to spend 3,000 hours playing a single campaign because I feel obligated to do all of these. And like, I feel like I'm just making more by downing Retaliation Craft, but you can't not down Retaliation Craft. Because then they probably spot your base, and then you're like, extra screwed. <laughs> ah. I guess I could throw in like, the large mine shield facility, and uh, just hope that that 1% chance doesn't actually trigger. There's another retaliation. I'm not convinced it's just you. Yeah, there's another one. Snake men this time. Curious if I damage it a little bit, and then down it and force it to land, if it's still considered a crash site or just a landing site. It looks like it's a landing site. Curious if they actually continue their operation there then. Seems like they'd be quite happy too. Oh hum. Okay, there's the blaster launchers done, too. We're just waiting on the shipment. Oh, no, we have that all. Okay, cool. So, Firestorm. Mm, sort by accuracy. The least accurate? Whoops. Armor. Sort by accuracy. The least accurate? Eh, I don't know if Money Bottoms counts, though. The least accurate are getting flying suits. 
Goodbye, Attack Turtle Cotton, The Few, and Luffler with the flying suits, Money Bottoms, and Butters being Psy get the power suits. As well as everybody else. Okay. And that's our ship. We've got... Whoops. We've got a couple blaster launchers. With plenty of stun, and even a little bit of fusion, just in case. We've got... The small launcher, but no stuns with it. Proper stun grenades, we've got demolition charges, we've got and fear projector. Research is going... Uh, unknown on the emitter. Good on the amplifier. I don't know, should we wait for the amplifier maybe real quick? I don't think it'll be too much longer, and then we'll do the base and see what the amplifier does for us. I assume it's the more proper... Uh, psi weapon, but maybe it allows us to also see, like, what they are? I don't know. Kroger ship for Antarctica, Muton Garrison. Enjoy. There it is. It enables a soldier to control psionic waves in order to influence alien combatants. With this tool, a trained psionic operative will be easily able to send most aliens into a panic, while our most powerful psionic wizards will be able to control the minds of aliens with impunity of most aliens. Different alien species have significantly varying resistance to psionic attacks. You can use a mind probe to check the psionic strength of each type of alien in order to determine which species are most vulnerable. So wait, now I can use mind probes? Because I wasn't able to before. Dagnabbit. Very well, uh... Let's get new transport craft finished off, I guess. And then the Psy amp we can do. Can I also make mind probes by chance? Okay, I can also make mind probes, because I sort of... Sort of ripped all of them apart. Ahem. <clears throat> and then Psy Amp. It's probably more costly to make. Or use, rather. But... It's just better in every way. So, like, you'd still want the Babby one for Chinese who don't really have that much mana. And then use the Siam for, like, the proper ones. Yeah. Fine probes. There. So you can have those. And then the proper Siam we can bring along. Because, like, I really only want to do one base. That's why I'm, like, delaying this so much. Because I don't really know where else to get a commander. And I really don't want to have to do multiple bases to figure it out. Uh... Inferno, right? E. Send you out Ethereal Terror and just continuously down that. While the Firestorm, we throw on the Psy Amps, Fear Projectors, Mind Probe. Could I actually... Mind control accuracy, minus 10%. Panic accuracy, 10%. Mind control cost, panic cost. Panic cost is percentage-based, costing 4 energy. Panic cost is just time unit-based, only 6 energy. Oh, more energy. Okay. But a raw value rather than a percentage. Both give 100% experience, both two-handed. Okay. And Mind Probe. Mind Probe, we don't know. It doesn't have a, a middle click in it. It doesn't have a UFO P to entry because the Mind Probe that we found is the Alien's Mind Probe, which I don't think relates to the Mind Probe we can use. I don't think I can use the Mind Probe. <laughs> Maybe, though. Maybe that rose the flag. Oh, okay, we're just gonna... Okay. Fine by me. I'm gonna drown ya. I hope you don't mind. Bounce off the hole. Ah! Right when I used it. Alright, crash landed in the water. Terror! Cancelled! Maybe. 
New transport craft. Oh, that's very bright. Swift transport spacecraft, a crude but effective replication of alien propulsion systems. The power granted by alien technology allows the ship to carry a powerful fighting force at tremendous speed while still being potent in aerial combat. Everything is like a hybrid. 27 mitigation. That's a bunch of mitigation with 15% avoidance. The combat spacecraft that's got crew space. One large, one medium, two small, three medium, with a lot more mitigation and still pretty okay avoidance. Damage capacity 500. More damage capacity as well than the Firestorm. 18 crew space, four heavy weapon platform capacity, 2500 speed, five acceleration. Okay, it's, it's faster, I guess. Man, I don't know about the about ship. And then there's ultimate transport craft. Go for that too and see if maybe that's maybe that's something we're interested in. You just making money right now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they're just making money for me. Okay. Cool, cool. Um Alien containment is... You know what? Yeah, just sell them. Alien containment's got a little bit of space now. It's got three space available. So we're going to go for Alien Base 1 with Firestorm. With our psionic goodies. Not quite day, although it doesn't matter really. Control center must be destroyed to render the base inoperative will terminate when all enemies are eliminated or when your squad is returned to the green exit area. Right. So. Keep that in your pocket. Here's a mind probe. I kind of doubt you can use it. And there's the Siamp. Save that. That's also going into Butters. Butters is also ready for helping out with robles and stuff. Everybody else, I don't think there's a whole lot to change here. Except... Thundir would need... a friend. How about the few? The few's got kind of a wild loadout. So two stuns, two fusions. Thundir and the few. Then everybody else. Pandasurda. I got a heavy plasma still, if anybody wants that. How about how about Leffler? Okay. And then just the heavy auto laser. We're basically good to go. Like, I got two people on blaster duty and two people on mind probe duty, so I really only have eight folks who are actually, like, combat capable. A little iffy, but, uh... There it is. It is what it is, I suppose. Is it? Yeah, right, we got... The two areas. Huh. Shrug. Look, Zed. What do we got? Who knows? Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Jump. Right back up. And then goodbye. Fuck that over. And huck that across and right back up. Okay. We have also folks uh, here. Thank you. 
Throw it where you can, little Miss Cuddles. And then drop one. And stack. Get one up there. And one down there. Okay, I can use mind probes. Okay. I can use mind probes now. This is two-handed? Yeah, okay, that that's two-handed. And also a little bit fat. So you've just got the mind probe out. You look like you're ready to go bowling, I love it. That's fantastic. <laughs> bowling brothers! <laughs> uh, mm, we'll end this first turn here. We'll move out next turn. If you already panicking. Great start. I'm glad it's a blaster launcher guy panicking as well. There's a cyber disc. Which we will auto fire up at. Only needed one shot. Okay. And cotton. Yo. So how cool is this then? Yeah, okay. That's that that that's what I was looking for. I'm glad I've got that. I know their rank and I know if they're capable of doing reactions and such and e. Absolutely own that guy. No problem. This being a sectoid base, I'm not too scared. Sectoids not the, uh, not the worst thing in the world ever. Although apparently their Psy is fairly capable, at least their higher rank sectoids are quite capable with Psy. They always seem to be kind of mediocre, but I think traditionally not all sectoids were Psy capable anyway, and it was mostly just the high rank ones that could. So... I'm not sure how it works in this mod regarding their side capabilities, but regardless, I'm sure their higher rank ones have pretty okay skills. Either way. Kyum. Kyum? Hmm. Shrug. Worth a shot? <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever got you, unless your brain is like mega mush. Uh, I'm not too sure. Energy, strength, skill. Yeah, I don't remember how, how it works. I don't think you're very great with the Psy resistance, though, if, if a sectoid did that to you. I think we're okay just to end turn two. Okay, there's a th uh, floaters here. There might also be a third wheels. It's a mix. Roger, Dodger. Just a soldier. I'm so glad anybody can aim. Neither them nor us. All right, Cotton, hang tight. A few. Grab your launcher, but still hang tight up here. I'm not going too wild with that. Get Lucas up here for a bit of support. Goodbye, check the corner. Looking fine. I would appreciate a little bit of backup here for goodbye. 
if we can link up. I'd be a big fan. Loader medic. <laughs> Auto. Oh. Snapshot. There we are. <laughs> well done, stack. A smooth double kill. What the? Flat flare. It's okay. Attack turtle. Come on. You got this. Kneeling. Snapshot. 69%. Yeah. Fantastic. Ooh. Hi. Okay. I was going to say, this is plasma. <laughs> Should be fairly effective. Okay, next, Azuranos. Head on down. A lot of cyber discs here. Mm, and Thunder, hang tight. 